guys we're back so now that it is past memorial day and summer has unofficially started there's gonna be more opportunities for us hopefully if you know quarantine and shelter in place orders get lifted people are going to be out more and gathering which means as you know gabby it's time to flex show off all those kicks you've been dead stocking all winter that you picked up so what are some things that you are eyeballing and thinking about as we head towards you know flex season <laughs> Uh, well, for me, every season is flex season, but especially with the beach, this is one thing, and I don't understand it. As a born and raised Jersey girl, I live and breathe Jersey pride. Anyone you, you, who knows you, you me, pump like, gas. You come pump, at me, bro. You pump fists, not gas. I got you. <laughs> exactly. But I will never understand all of the bros that wear Jordans and Air Force Ones to the beach. Like, don't you get sand in your shoes? I can barely wear flip-flops like past three steps on the beach because there is sand everywhere. It's a disaster. Mm -hmm. And they're like not just wearing any beaters. Right. They are wearing their flyest Jordans. Like my not ones, me. there is no place for the beach. My not. feet get sweaty. It's not a cute look. Like it might match my outfit, but that's going to be a no for me, dog. But you, 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 yeah. you, you can all the sand in there. And, you know, again, at the beach for me, it, yo, flip-flops or barefoot like i i can't and you, as you said flip-flops is kicking the sand up everywhere like i look i get you want to flex like maybe you keep them in wherever you're staying and rock them to the club later or wherever you're going surf bar temps the club bar a whatever those places are probably closed i don't even know what even it's even open down there oh no no, no. bar a is very much open <laughs> Jersey girl. All, all, all those all those kinds of places you know like rock it to those hey. places don't wear it on the actual beach you're getting stand there mm -hmm. the interesting thing is in new york um new york city beaches closed uh but new york state beaches are starting to have limited openings so the hamptons will be in full effect um now and soon you know i do wonder and that's hamptons are a very different crowd right like they're not a whole i was gonna say i don't know i don't think i've ever seen <laughs> jordan's on any Hamptons beach ever, I'm, I'm going to call it on that yeah, one. Not, As not, a Jersey thing or the people who come to Jersey because there's a lot of non-Jerseyans. Yes. I, I, Jerseyans I, will, I, I will say in Jersey. L legit Hamptons residents, unless they happen to be NBA ballers or people like that, you know, right? Regular people who like live there, like who, you know, who are natives or whatever. And, you know, mainstream, y'all know what I'm saying. They, they, definitely, they definitely don't rock Jordans. Um, but actually, it's interesting. I, I saw something in the news where it was like the Hamptons are warning New York City people, do not come to the beach. Like, we know your beaches are closed. Don't be coming out here to our beaches. Like, But they put Chris Christie in charge? Like, get the hell off the beach. I don't know. <laughs> that was a terrible Christie impression. I don't know why I made him an 80-year-old woman. But we're just going to go with that. <laughs> we're going to rock with it. No, I, I do think that is interesting, though, right? Like, the different sort of areas of like the beach or you're going to picnic in the park or like different summer activities and how you would flex again for both of us beach is out but look you know kicks and shit show was an, an inclusive thing so if you want to do that cool i'm sure there are products to help you desand and whatever i mean that, <laughs> well, that, that's my thing is like, jason mark are you listening <laughs> they need a desanding wipe next exactly i just it, that that's the thing it's like the the excess sand and it's you know adding corrosive materials i feel like to the rubber and all the nice fine detailing on your yeah. shoe so i'm i i personally am out on that but you know if you want to rock it do you what i do think though is this idea right gabby of performance shoes because that's what we're talking about jordan's hardens for adidas or whatever these are performance shoes for people playing high level basketball but we are using them as mm -hmm. fashion it was so interesting um Sneaker Galactus, uh, Chad Jones, shout out to Chad, uh, was on True Love this him. week. Love him, the best. Oh, and he was saying, everybody knows, Jordans are terrible shoes to play basketball in. Like, Jordan wants, like, yep. you'll slide your feet all over the They're horrible. Even Jordan said that. <laughs> right. Even Jordan said that, <laughs> that it made his feet bleed at the garden. And I was like, oh, I feel so much better about being in pain wearing them. <laughs> they, are, they are not, you know, great for hoop, especially the, the, the ones. Right. Um, but I love this idea, though, is, it serving this additional purpose right as a way in which yo but if i could rock this with the right pair of jeans or if i get the stitch for those of you guys who are a little fancier right and like to wear more suits right you bet the hem on those suits pulled up a little bit Ooh. right you shook you show off a little oh. bit of the sock the high top Speaking my language. <laughs> no. in my dm for that <laughs> you wear sneakers and suits hey what's up holla at you girl 
<laughs> See, I, I don't mean, know who shimmy is, look, but look, look, you know, fellas, I, I'm, my shoulder's I'm... doing something. It's out of control. <laughs> Fellas, I, I'm, I'm giving you guys free game right here. I, I just told you how to get into her DMs, right? Get mm-hmm. those suit pants. Like, like, you know, go to a tailor. By the way, all men, you should have a tailor. Come on now. Make sure your clothes Back. fit you right. Right? Get the – wear – bring your, your, your Jordans or whatever your particular shoe of preference is. Put them on with your suit pants and have the tailor be like, all right, you, how do you want them hemmed? Hemmed them so they line perfectly with – so you can show yep. up what you want to show up. But anyway – you can use them in so many different ways. Of course, one of the famous shoes to do that in is the Concords, right? Like, just because they have the patent leather and they look like dress yeah. fancy shoes, right? Just, again, because of the, the black my patent face leather. Are my, my face jams are my dress sneakers <laughs> for that exact reason. I, I'm serious. When I am working a football game and I'm on the field and I want something to match my black pants, I wear my space jams because they're patent leather and they look nice. <laughs> so I feel you. But I, I, I do love that. I love the idea of Again, you may not be a baller, but it's cool. It can be a fashion piece and a fashion statement for you. And, okay, if suit's not your thing, listen, athleisure and cozy, cozy wear, that, I mean, you can't really make a pair of cozy pants, sweatpants, whatever, that don't work with with kicks. They just, I mean, because they just, it's almost like all purpose, right? You put on a pair of black sweatpants or whatever, I mean, you're money, right? Like, I'm going to be bold. You can even rock sketchers with any pair of athleisure pants whether it's a jogger i mean i come from and i'm i love my family but i come from a sketchers family and i've like made them take speaker pictures with me my mom and my dad are always rocking sketchers but like maybe not my look but it's still a look and you can have that kind of vibe yo speaking of sketchers funny story i don't know if you saw this um in the undefeated (laughs) um they interviewed jasmine jordan uh michael jordan's oldest daughter and she was talking about early on in, in her life, like, what are her favorite pair of Jordans to wear? And she said, oh, I like the ones, 11s, you know, she's going through. But she was like, actually, early, I love I would always be like, dad, get me the ones that, like, light up or whatever. I would have them for a day. And then by day two, he would throw them in the trash. Like, you're not wearing those. <laughs> like... <laughs> Yo, Jordan's savage. I love that. It's so, like, <laughs> I mean, we could get it a whole. Get is a successful company, though. You know what I mean? We can't hate. It's like, I don't know. I personally would not buy a pair of Crocs. But there's a reason they stay in business and the lights are always on. So no doubt. But 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 your man you know? Jordan is not here for anybody rocking no. anything but the brand. He's like, <laughs> what? Sketchers now? He's going to the trash, which I found to be hilarious. She had to be like what Savage. five or six. It's like, no, nah, we ain't rocking. <laughs> Got to start him young. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got to start him young. I like it. I respect that actually. <laughs> but yeah, it it. I think that you know what we're seeing now more days is with everyone in their sneakers. You can really do so much with it, and it's acceptable in so many areas. Now, think about it. Like, maybe 15, 20 years ago, people wearing, like, sneakers with suits would be like, I don't, I don't know, people might lose their mind with that stuff and think it's, like, awful. But you can do it now in a way, and it's like, yo, it says something about you, right? Your your individuality, your style, mm-hmm. how you like to rock things. And it's a, a statement of expression. You know, we talked earlier about the the retro sevens, the hairs that, that I got. And here's what I like about them. The insides you see are all like got the crazy colors and the, and the sole has all the fancy stuff on it. But the outside, that neutral gray, right? A little pink on the tongue. Or a seafoam green. <laughs> or you see foam green. But it like, to me, it encapsulates me in so many ways. Because very much on the outside is how I feel like I am. Kind of, to an extent, buttoned up or very sort of like somewhat regimented. But on the inside, it's like, I'm a crazy person, right? Like, kind of, kind of like how. Are you wild? <laughs> wild. Kind of like how those how those shoes are. That's that's how I see it. Yeah. So I think it's great that people have the opportunity to again utilize sneakers to showcase that side of them. And I think it's all about expression, right? Like, I my friends in my personal life outside of the sneaker world come to me all the time and say, like, what do you think of these? Or I'll send different pictures of sneakers that came out, like the Air Maxes that came out mm-hmm. in the metallic colors for women. Those were super fire. And I sent it to one of my friends who's a director of finance. You would not think that she <laughs> is a sneaker person and she lives at Ann Taylor. And like, you know, I that's what I love about it is for her. She's like, I need these in my life. I hate you for sending them to me. Now I need them and they're in my head forever. Um, but there's ways to rock it. I mean, a friend of mine from college also used to rock Bathing Apes and Rainbows with wow. his suits for his 21st birthday. Yeah, Preet was an innovator. And I, Preet, that's a shout out for you. Thanks for tuning in. But I... <laughs> If there's a way to rock it, you can show really showcase your personality. Mm-hmm. And even now that it's more mainstream, yeah, companies are doing some great job with detailing and custom kicks. And 
I don't know, make it your own, you know? Absolutely. And this dovetails perfectly into what we're going to talk about next, which is influencers and the market and how they're sort of transitioning now that we're all at home, no one's really going out and doing things, and companies are starting to realize, wait a minute, we got to think about our budgets and how we really approach this whole situation mm -hmm. as the whole consumer experience is changing given what's going on in the world. So we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned.